Hello everyone, I thought I'd make a quick video talking about how to use Loom with your iPad to make a recording. So what I have here, of course, is my laptop, uh, the cable I use to charge my iPad with, and my iPad itself. So the first step is going to be going ahead and plugging in my iPad with the cable, just as I normally would to charge. So we'll get this plugged in, and then I'll show you what the next steps are in order to make it work with your computer. Once I have it plugged in and it is registering that it's plugged in, you'll know because you'll have the charge icon over there in the top left corner. We're gonna jump back over onto the computer and we're gonna open up an app called QuickTime. And we open QuickTime by going into Finder, the Applications folder over here on the left, and then just finding QuickTime in the list of applications here and double clicking on it. QuickTime player right there. We're gonna double click it and it's a little strange because you might think that it's not open at all, but if you take a peek over up in the menu bar, you will see that it says QuickTime Player over here on the top left. So from here, we're gonna go File, and we're gonna do New Movie Recording. So it's a little, it's a little interesting. And then we'll get this little option right here. And automatically, it's gonna choose the camera on the computer. There I am with my iPhone recording this video. But right next to the record button, we're going to click the little drop down arrow right there. And we're going to see a bunch of different things that we can use to record with. And what we want is our iPad. So we should see the name of our iPad on this device. And mine is actually this right here. This is G. Yolendorf-FS for faculty and staff. So I'm going to press that. And then my screen is gonna kind of change a little bit as it picks up my iPad. And then once it's done, you'll notice that your iPad screen is reflected on your desktop. And this is gonna allow you to mirror everything that you're doing, everything that you're doing. But in this instance, we could record right here, but I wanna show you how we can use this with Loom. So we're really only using QuickTime Player to display the screen of our iPad. And one thing that I kinda of like to do whenever I'm doing this is to go into System Preferences, this gear icon down here in the right-hand corner of the iPad. I should say, I said it's Preferences, I should say Settings. And we're gonna go over to where it says display and brightness. And then I'm gonna go into auto lock and shut this off to never. Because sometimes when you're working on doing a video, it's good to not have the screen go black on you as you're talking. Uh, so it'll just keep our screen illuminated and it won't go to sleep. That's something you'll probably wanna edit later. But now that we have this up, we're gonna go ahead and open up Loom just by going into applications and uh, going into Loom. And then we'll be able to actually use QuickTime player to display our iPad and use Loom in order to actually do our recording. So as I go through my applications here, I can open up Loom and I can go ahead and I can choose, of course, what I want to do. Do I want to use the screen and the camera, the screen only or the camera only? In this case, you're going to definitely want to use either screen and camera or screen only. So let's go ahead and choose screen camera and I'm going to go and click start recording. We'll get my applications window out of the way. And then here we are, we get the countdown. And now my video is recording. My iPad is displayed on the screen. Uh, and of course, my camera from my computer is recording my video. And I happen to be recording this video with my iPhone. The only reason I'm doing that is to show you kind of how everything works together in order to allow you to display your iPad with QuickTime while still recording your screen recording with Loom. And make sure that you go ahead, if you haven't already, and check out the Screen Recording with Loom video over on our YouTube channel. That way you can get an idea of how everything kind of works. And if, of course, if you have any questions, send us an email over at tech at sch.org.